I think it's safe to say that most guys that are stylish, especially my minimalist dudes, just basically wear neutrals. And I do too. It's the easiest way to mix and match. It keeps your outfits really simple and consistent. And that's basically all you need to be 90% better dressed than most guys out there. But it's that top 10% of guys that dress just a little bit better than the rest of us because they have mastered the art of wearing bolder colors. So in this video, we're gonna go over how to wear green, pink, yellow, orange, purple, and brown for every skin tone. And on top of that, I got examples of my own personal outfits so you can see that I practice what I preach. Now when it comes to green, a lot of guys already wear it, but usually it's like that olive green, that khaki like military tone. But there's definitely other hues of green that you can pull off if you know how to put it together. And perfect colors to go with that are navies, grays, and whites. And my example outfit for this color has a few variations. This first one is green head to toe. This is a deep forest green and because it's much of a deeper darker green an easy color to wear with it would be black and if that's too much green for you throw on your favorite black jacket also a black hoodie could work here or a more of a smart casual jacket like an overshirt or something like that and if this is still too much green for you swap out the pants for a black pair and now you have a mostly black outfit with a very subtle pop of green so as you can see, this color isn't really one that's hard to wear. But if you want to be a little different than the rest of the guys, step away from the everyday olive and challenge yourself with a different hue. If you want to see any of this outfit or any of the outfits in this video, I'll link it down below for you so you can check them out. If you're one of those guys that still thinks that pink is only for ladies, then I got a little history lesson for you. During the 1920s, back in the Great Gatsby era, pink was definitely considered much more of a masculine color. And it's only after marketing in the 1950s and on that it really became more of a feminine color. But trust me, guys did it first, especially here in America. But whether you're dapper, street, or smart casual like me, the color principles are still the same. This can be very easily balanced out with gray, black, or even navy. And if you're extra advanced, you wanna try it with a color that is analogous to it on the color wheel. And as an example, I have this darker pink hoodie, this lighter pink hoodie, then a maroon shirt that goes well with both. The shirt I have on is by our video sponsor today, Essentials. Now I'm not gonna get into all the quality points about this shirt because I've already made a video about it, but if you have seen it, you guys know that I went through various tests wearing this shirt. I took it to the gym, I wore these shirts sleeping, I wore essential shirts day to day, I washed them, I dried them, I hung dried them, just to see how I would stand up as the best shirt in the world. And it did pass a lot of the tests, but some things it didn't do so well at. So if you wanna see a fair review, good and bad, I will put a card here and put it down below, but if you did watch it you did see this t-shirt and this is probably my favorite out of all the t-shirts that I tried on from essentials because it just fits me better I like the rounded hem on the bottom it has a very comfortable fit that kind of is a little bit snugger around the chest but has a little bit more room around the belly which I need and if you go to the essentials website right now most of everything is almost sold out so if you have not got your sizes yet you have not got the ones you wanted especially this t-shirt I definitely highly recommend the long sleeve one go ahead and click the link down below Below in my description and I got a discount code there for you as well Devin 10 and you'll get 10% off that order if you want to get them now as we try this on with the lighter pink hoodie you see this is much more of a bold choice but because of the cut of my hoodie you don't really even see it out the front it kind of peeks out a little bit in the bottom obviously and a little bit in the back to kind of add a little bit of a bold contrast like yo I'm wearing pink but I'm also wearing this deeper manly color to balance it out and if you are a lighter skin person it might wash you out just a little bit because this is a very very fair pink but you still can wear this color if you break it up with a full visibility situation like I'm wearing right now so you definitely want to pull the color away from your face and have something that breaks it up that helps you bring some more color to your skin if you're more of a pale guy and when I put on the darker pink hoodie you notice the outfit comes off a little more subtle because that is much closer to the undershirt color it's a lot more subtle and a lot less of contrast so if this is more your style you just want a little peek out there in the neck this is the perfect combination for you to wear now moving on to purple, this is a color that works for everybody, but also kind of works for nobody. And when I say nobody, I mean that mid-tone purple, that Barney purple. That one purple is just too ridiculous and strong and nobody should wear. But once you get deeper into the purples, you get a little bit more light in the purples, 
that's when it's easier to kind of mix it up. And the simplest way to introduce it into your wardrobe is as an accent or an accessory. Think about a hat or a tie or a pocket square or a shirt that goes under a jacket. Just put it in there subtly and small at first and as you get more comfortable then you can step out there with more prominent pieces. For an example, in this outfit I have a dusty purple on because it is literally the top half of my outfit. The hat and the shirt are the exact same dusty purple so I didn't want to step out there with anything too bold. And this is a great look for spring and summer, a little bit more preppy, a little bit more smart casual but if you want to dress this down I also have a t-shirt in that exact same color because I do love this color combination but if you want to transform this into a fall winter look and obviously in the fall winter I would have socks on but as an example here's a navy overcoat that also works with this look and makes the purple a lot less prominent since I am literally covering 80% of the shirt with this overcoat. Now when it comes to yellows and oranges any of my friends that are on the paler side usually avoid these like the plague but I promise you if you do them in the right way even if you are a little bit lighter or more pale go for the deeper hues and you cannot go wrong and the colors that go the best with yellow or anything in the blue family grays or blacks and believe it or not other yellows as an example I have this yellow shirt on here with this navy outfit navy pants navy shoes and like this golden more of a mustard color shirt now if you feel like this is too much yellow for your personal preference, then just trade out that undershirt for something in the blue family, just like I did here with this lightweight mock neck sweater. And it adds a nice little subtle contrast without being overpowering. And to keep it 100 with y'all, I definitely wear this sweater with this jacket more than I wear the yellow on yellow, but it depends on what mood I'm in, if I wanna stand out more. And the only orange garment I have is this overcoat that you guys have probably seen if you've been watching my channel for a while, that it's like more of a burnt orange, more of a dark orange. And this is a perfect thing to wear with black, any earth tone, anything darker and deeper definitely work. Now I don't know about y'all but when I think about the color brown the first thing that comes to my mind is the 1970s and that was a very bad time for fashion but what it did teach us is that brown does go really well with earth tones, oranges, yellows, and even like navy blues. And if you're a darker skinned guy this is the only color you really have to be careful with. Everything else on this list so far you can wear basically any hue, any brightness, or pastel version of any of the colors on this list except for brown. This is the one that can wash you out and you want to be careful on how you wear it. Now for example with this outfit the only brown I have on besides my skin obviously are these extremely cropped pants but you notice that they never touch my skin directly. I have long socks on, I have a white shirt, everything is broken up to where the brown isn't directly touching my skin because it is so close to my skin tone and I didn't want it to wash me out. So as a recap black, white, gray, and navy go with almost anything. If you're more of a subtle guy, more of a laid back guy, then go with the more muted tone or a deeper tone of a color if you want to try it out. And if the color is too close to your skin tone, you're at risk of being washed out if you don't break it up with other colors. So now that I'm finished, you drop a comment right now on which one of these outfits is your favorite from this list or which of these colors are you most willing to try out next? This is this something in the green family, the purple family, the yellow orange area, even brown, or the pink outfit wearing the Essentials t-shirt underneath it? Now, if you're still watching this video right now, I got something for you. I know you've been looking over here to my right, okay? And these are the sneaker of the day. These are customized Vans by a gentleman that goes by the name of Vandy the Pink, okay? He is a customizer of shoes. He adds luxury fabrics to everyday regular shoes. If you want to check these out, I will link all of the information down below. But yeah, these are one of my favorite shoes to wear, but I don't wear them too much, obviously, because I don't want to mess these up. But they're the perfect mix between the high and the low, which is what this channel is all about, y'all. So if you haven't subscribed here yet, you definitely need to, because you're going to get smart, casual style tips, but also things and tools on how to present yourself better online as well. So how to take better outfit photos, how to be more successful on social media, all that good stuff. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't, hit that bell icon, and yeah, thank y'all so much for your time, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.